let's animate Winston using the shortcuts that you just learned. So here we've got Winston with his eyes, and we've got this eye size variable. So if we wanted to make Winston's eyes get bigger, we could just say eye size plus equals 1, adding 1 pixel to the size of the eyes each time. And whoa, look at it. It's bugging out. Let's restart. Whoa, bug out, bug out, bug out. Now that's pretty cool. And it turns out in programming, we actually add 1 to variables a lot. Um, you know, maybe while animating, but also you'll see there's a lot of other reasons why we add 1 to variables later. And programmers got bored of writing plus equals 1 all the time because programmers get bored of silly things. So they came up with a shorter way of writing it. So instead of i size plus equals 1, we could just write i size plus plus. And you see, it will do exactly the same thing. It's just a shorter way of doing it. And not only do we use this for programming, now most programmers just use it in everyday speech because pretty much we're all familiar with this plus plus. And it's an easy way of saying that you're making something a little bigger. So if we went to Winston's birthday party, we might say, oh, happy birthday, Winston. Winston plus plus, because Winston just got a year older. Or if we just learned a new fact, we might be like, oh, go us, intelligence, plus plus. And that's pretty fun. So when should you use plus plus versus plus equal? Well, I think actually for animation, it's cool to use plus equal, because then you can use a number scrubber. And you can be like, whoa, let's make it, whoa, whoa, that was awesome. Let's make it really crazy, really different. Um, whoa, <laughs> see how fun that is? Um, but, you know, depending on what you're doing, it might be convenient just to say plus plus. And you'll see later that there's, there's lots of other times when you might want to add one to variables, not just for animation, where that plus plus operator could become even more useful. So just keep that in mind when you see that plus plus, and try using it in your everyday speech.